And basically today I bring for you another tier list as I said in the last tier list video if you have checked that out If you haven't make sure to go check that video out. We have all the characters from prison break series one to five I believe yeah because we've got this guy who's in series five so we're doing series one to five and Yeah, let's just get into that first. We have Alex Mahone and we're not going to be changing these for this video because honestly I can't think of any joke answers and as I said I need to get these videos recorded as I go on holiday in two days. Recorded and edited that is. So starting off with Alex Mahone, he is easily my second favourite character in the whole uh, of Prison Break after Michael Schofield. So it's no brainer where he's going to go, he's obviously going to go in the best category. Actually, he's my third favourite overall after someone else who we're going to be getting to in a bit. But next we have Sino or Benjamin Miles Franklin. As you know, I love Prison Break. Literally, I know everything about it. I know all about these characters. So well done. So I can judge them fairly. Well, in my opinion, anyway. Sino, I actually like. He's like... Like, <laughs> get it? Can't believe you've done this. No, but um, he's one of the best characters in the series. And actually, he was meant to be a guest star. Like, he was meant to appear in just the one episode in which he got Michael the drugs to get him into the infirmary to see Sarah and pour the acid to weaken the pipe more. So he was meant to just be in that one episode, but after he portrayed... Sino in such a good fashion he was bumped up to a series regular so we'll leave him in the light column um, David Apolskis or Tweener we'll put him in the neutral column as he only appeared in about four episodes in the show and he got killed off by Alex Mahone in the second episode of series two or maybe the third episode it was but um, yeah we'll leave him in the neutral Veronica Donovan actually we're going to get another category so we've added a new category called shouldn't have died I don't think David Apolskis makes it into that because he was not a like he wasn't a good enough character but I honestly don't think that Veronica should have died as soon as she did she died at the end of series one she got shot after discovering Terence Steadman this was of course because Robin Tunney the actress that plays Veronica wanted to move on and film other things as she didn't like her character anymore. So she wanted to leave the show. So she had to be killed off. Although I would I would have loved to see her for an extra series or two and seen her and Lincoln get back together. Next we have President Reynolds or Vice President Reynolds or Caroline Reynolds or whatever you want to call her. No. Basically we have her and I dislike her as a character to be honest she was very annoying she, yeah she was just annoying next we have Christina Schofield who I also didn't like as a character even though it's Michael's mom and she has like the smart thing that just reminds me of Sherlock which I'm also re-watching at the moment like literally I'm re-watching so many shows at the moment Doctor Who, Prison Break, The Flash, Friends, Sherlock Death in Paradise. So if you want me to rank any of them, then feel free to leave a comment or leave a like. I'll probably do it anyway, if you do or don't. But yeah, uh, talking about Christina Rose Schofield, uh, she's a lot more annoying than other people in the show. So we'll leave her in the dislike column for now. General Krantz, uh, we're going to put him in the... We'll put him in the neutral column, because... However, he was annoying, but I liked his arc over time. He didn't get good, but how he, like, became the victim. Like, because he was the head of the company, and then the company got taken over by Christina's company, which didn't really have a name. And then after that, it got taken... After the general was dead, it got taken over by 21 Void. And then... Yeah. Next, we have Haywire... Who? Oh, we're gonna put him in the neutral column as well. I think he was vital to Michael's plan at, because, of course, Michael's uh, tattoos got burnt, and Haywire was the only way to draw the top left of Michael's tattoo back on his body. 
only in promise of his escape though. Sarah Tancray, she has to be up there in one of the best characters on the show as well because even though Sarah Tancray was a series regular, she was meant to die off in series 3 when uh, Gretchen was supposedly beheaded her, but after that episode the fans wrote to Fox and everyone was outraged with her death so they asked um, they asked Sarah Wayne Callies to bring the character of Sarah Tancray back to the show. Next we have Brad Bellick and as much as I don't think he should have died because his arc was amazing. He went from ruthless uh, security guard at the prison, prisoner officer, to uh, basically homeless wreck to helping them break into Scylla and get into Scylla. However, he sacrificed himself on the way to Scylla, so we'll put him in the neutral column because his sacrifice was the only way they could do it. Next up, we have the, as you've just seen in the zoom in, we have the series four assassin that kills Alex and Mahone's son and tries to kill Gretchen. But we will leave him in the, I don't dislike him as a character, so we'll leave him in the neutral. No, Brad Bellick definitely has to go up to the like. I like him a lot more than these three. I mean, these four. Um, Paul Kellerman, he is another one of my favorite characters. So he is definitely off in the best. I think the fact his arc was amazing as well. He went from uh, assassin hired by the company to take out Lincoln and Michael and basically everyone to shooting Mahone and then helping Michael and Lincoln before Alex turns good and yeah and then Paul Kellerman just the end of series 4 the final scene of series 4 is so emotional when uh, Dan Hale's wife spits at him and he just like breaks down in the back of his limo because he knows that he killed his best friend next we have Don Self see I told you we'd get to him if you've watched the Friends video then you'll know who I was talking about Gary in the, in Friends plays Don Self here uh, in Don Self, he's a really he, he's no, he is a good character to be honest. I'll put him at the top of neutral because he is a good character. He, if you haven't watched this show, then I'm sorry for all the spoilers. Then I don't know why you'd watch this video if you hadn't watched the show. So I'm guessing you've all watched the show. Um, he plays the whole group. He gets Scylla for himself in order to take down the company. However, he just wants the profit, like the 360 million that it is worth. Next we have John Abruzzi, and in series one, he is a great character, and then he just goes very downhill. I mean, obviously since he dies in the first episode of series two, so that doesn't really give him much of a chance to go downhill. <laughs> but we'll put him in the neutral column because I think he's actually quite a good character overall. Next up we have Sucre's wife, Mari Cruz, I believe. I think it's Mari Cruz because she changed actor so we don't have the other actor on here. So yeah, Mari Cruz is a different actor in the first episode of Prison Break compared to the rest of the four series or five series but she's not in the fifth series. So uh, we'll put her in the, I don't dislike her so we'll put her in the neutral column. Um, Gary, the guy that Brad teams up with to search the Fox River, A, in return for the prize money, and also is the security guard that gets fired at the prison after uh, branding Michael's back, even though that's not what happened at all. Uh, I didn't like him at all. We'll put him in a dislike column because I don't hate him. He was only in like three episodes. So, yeah, I didn't really like him. Sucre, he has to go in the best characters. I know I said I only had three of like in the top tier. However, we haven't even got to Michael yet. We're getting to him next as it sees. But yeah, Sucre is definitely in the best character. He's in the first episode of the series and they bring him back up until the fifth episode. No, the seventh episode of series five. And if they ever make a series six, which I highly doubt they will because 
everyone's off free now. However, it did take them 10 years to create a Series 5 after Series 4 ended. So maybe in... Uh, it came out in 2019. So maybe in 2029. So in seven years, we... Well, nearly seven years, we will get another series of Prison Break. Maybe Michael's got himself thrown in another prison because, you know, it's Michael and apparently he breaks out of prisons every other weekend. Next we have Michael and obviously he is off top of the best column. Gretchen, I think she was okay in... Uh, she, was, she wasn't good in Series 3. And then in Series 4, the first episode and second episode of Series 4 and then when she comes back late Series 4, she... Well... Middle series four, because late series four, she's kind of dead. But yeah, we'll put her in the neutral section. So James Whistler, I don't think he should have died. He was killed in such an icon anticlimactic way. I know it was like, you've got me out of prison, now I'm dead. But And I know it had been like four months, but it was literally the next episode. They got him out of prison, and then the next series started, and James was shot in the head immediately but um this guy i'm not that well known with series five because it's not the worst series however it's definitely not the best so we're gonna put him in the dislike column because to be honest i don't even remember his name never mind remember who he is next we have this guy who is the main man in sona prison like he's still a prisoner but he is like in control of the prison and he like Controls the guards basically, but he was quite annoying as well, and I was kind of glad when he got shot uh, T-Bag is off. He's actually off above Sucre because I think he's a better character overall uh, Robert Nepper who plays him who is also in the arrow and the flash who Which are also my favorite shows. Well the flash is my favorite show of all time So he's in an episode of that he plays the clock king but yeah, I just think he's a great actor overall and he has a very scary, menacing portrayal of Teabag. Uh, Warden Henry Pope, I think he should go in the light column. I like him as a actor. And also, fun fact, Stacey Keach, who is the actor that plays Warden Pope, is the only person in the whole of the Prison Break cast to have... A criminal record like what a fun fact next we have I th I don't know if this is Nick or Veronica's husband it looks like both of them to be honest but we're gonna take it as Nick because he's a much more interesting character and I don't think Nick should have died at all but we're not gonna put him in here we're gonna put him in the light column because he sacrificed himself for uh, Veronica even though she lived about half an episode longer than him Next we have Charles Westmoreland, who we're definitely putting in the light column because overall he's 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 a good character. He leads them. He he basically has the whole storyline for series two when they're getting the money in Utah. Next we have, I believe his name was Roland. Uh, maybe I'm just thinking of some film that I've just watched called Jumper, which is a great film. It's on Netflix at the moment. I suggest you go watch it if you haven't watched it already. But this guy is not a great character. We're definitely putting him in the hate because he turns on the team. He gets the agent to come try kill Michael and the rest of the group. And then he's shot in both knees and still tells the guy. But yeah, besides that, he's also quite an annoying character. He ruins the mission in... Las Vegas when he gets arrested with the device when it gets taken off him so yeah he can belong in the hate column next we have Sheba who can go in the neutral column link next we have the woman from James Whistler's wife I forget her name but um, she can go in the neutral column she wasn't she was present from the start of series 3 up until the last episode of series four and then you find out in series five that they broke up <sighs> so that's that next we have bill kim who yeah i think he was a good villain he was the not the head of the company because that was the general 
but he, he was definitely like in charge of Alex and Kellerman so he was above them but below the general and below Caroline Reynolds so guys that is going to end off this tier list of the best prison break characters ranked overall there were a few characters missing like all the other people from series 5 like the two people from 21 void as well as Poseidon the main character and a few others as well like some other characters from Fox River and places like that also the bas and also the basketball dude from Sona he he would have gone in the light column because he was a great character overall but that is going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. See you in the next one. Bye.